there, crafty people! I'm Margot Potter, and today I'm going to be joining Plaid Crafts and Folk Art and showing you how to make a delightful little sign for your kitchen. Let me just show you how it starts. You're going to get this little cowl cut out. This is from Unfinished Wood Co. And then this is a pallet board frame. So it's really rough kind of wood all set up in this really nice little frame. And these two things are going to be layered together. And so let me get those out of the way. I've already painted my cow, this cow, with one coat of Adirondack White from the Folk Art Matte Finish Chalk Paint. Not chalkboard paint, but chalk paint. Gives you that nice kind of matte sort of vintage finish. So I did one coat. I took the Folk Art Parisian Gray. And then I used a really kind of, almost like a stencil brush, like a boar's bristle brush. And I just brushed on a light dusting, if you will, of the gray, Parisian gray. And you can go as light or as heavy as you want, but I wanted it to have that sort of worn, weathered, aged look. So I did that and I let that dry. And while that was drying, I painted these edges black. Then once the inside was dry, I took some painter's tape and I taped it all along the edge, like so. And then I did the interior edge of the black so that this has a nice frame. The so first thing we want to do is add spots to our cow. And I'm going to turn the camera down a little bit so you can see that. So I'm going to do black. So I'm going to make this leg will be black. Maybe this one will be kind of black. And then maybe this one is black, but we'll leave this one. But we'll have a spot like here. We're going to do some spots here. It really is up to you. Now I'm going to get out my black matte finish home decor chalk paint. I'm gonna stir it up using a skewer and then we'll be ready to paint on our spots. I'm just using a Taclon Gold 3 8 inch folk art brush. These have these wonderful grips. They're beautiful brushes and they're angled and they're fine so they make it really easy to get in there and do all the detailing. And I'm just following the lines that I made with my pencil. And I'll go ahead and I'll fill all of that in. You wanna go along the sides too. And then you're gonna let that dry and we'll move on to the next. So I painted in these bigger areas and then I took my brush and I flicked some speckles all over. And then I just painted in some smaller splotches and dots. While our speckled cow is drying, we're going to add some stencil details around the edge of our frame. And we're using these stencils, which are from Folk Art, Lily and Val. Just wanna line this up. You're gonna tape it down. All right, you wanna hold your stencil down. And then little circular motions, like that. Hey there, now we're going to stencil the words dairy and farm fresh onto our cow. We're using paper stencils or cardboard stencils from the Folk Art Value Pack Farm Life. So there's all kinds of farm themes. I don't know if you can see them, but they've got these great farm themes. You can layer these up, use them however you wish. I think what I'm gonna do is cut these so they're easier to use. But the first thing you wanna do is find dead center of your cow so that you can orient your letters, your stencils properly. So you end up with good results. You got the dairy. I'm gonna tape that down and then we'll tape down the farm fresh. Get the excess paint off and then we're just gonna swirl the color on like that. After I had stenciled it, I'm gonna be real here, it looked a little too kind of faded, it was hard to read. So I went back in and I used Folk Art Outdoor Paint in Red Hot and one of my favorite little Taclon angled brushes and I just kind of beefed it up a little bit. Get it, beefed it up a little bit. Wah, wah. I really don't need a lot of paint here, so I'm just using what's on the lid. I'm gonna dip my brush into it, but I don't want that much paint. So I'm gonna tap off most of it, because we're just doing a, a distressing. We just wanted to, to kind of make this look a little bit older, a little less crisp, a little less fresh, if you will. Now you can take your fingers and you can take the black and the Parisian gray and you can just kind of go around the edges and add a little bit 
This is almost like the same thing as sanding it. And it, we are gonna also sand it, but we're just really trying to make this look like an old sign. How now, rustic cow? So this is where we are now. We've actually sanded away a fair amount. As you can see here, kind of around the edges where it would naturally wear away, a little bit over the lettering, some places a little more than others, as a sign would weather and age if it were sitting outside over time. Thanks for watching. It's been utterly craftastic. You can get more creative inspiration at plaidonline.com and visit me at margapotter.com.